Ahoy, and welcome back to my playthrough of Jenny the Clue. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes. Your secret will die with me. Is that CJ? What did he do this time? This isn't about keeping a secret, CJ. It's about you following my plan. Precisely. Yes, of course. Would you pass me a roll of toilet paper? I think I can hit that guard from here. Don't get sidetracked. There's no time. No time? For what? Focus, CJ. This is serious. You have to use the whole thing or it won't work. Do you understand? I'm only trying to scare the man, not take his head off. CJ! Wear the gloves. Don't forget. Shh! Did you hear that? Somebody's listening. CJ! It's me! Ah! They found me! Jenny? Mom! I'm down here! How in heaven's name did you get down there? Did you hear it too? The sewer grate is talking! No, CJ, it's me, Jenny LeClue. Nonsense! I know Jenny personally. She looks nothing like a sewer grate. I'm underneath the floor, you doof. The dogs bark loudest before the dawn. Hey, that's my line! <clears throat> The dogs bark loudest before the dawn. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it cook a five-course meal. Wrong! <clears throat> the dogs bark loudest before the dawn. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. The wind blows strongly from the east. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. The evening sky is full of fireflies. But the absent-minded goldfish swims into the blender. Jenny, it is you! What are you doing down there? So much has happened, but there's no time to explain. I'm here to rescue Mom. Don't be ridiculous. You are going home this instant. You don't understand, Mom. Someone's coming to kill you. What? Who? A man dressed in black, carrying a blue umbrella and a briefcase. A shadow man? That's serious. He was in our house, looking for something. And now he's on his way here, to kill you. But I won't let him. I'm breaking you out. Or was she? Steel bars and a foot of concrete separated Jenny from her mother. Without Susie's explosives, how could she possibly hope to stage a breakout? And how exactly were you planning on breaking into the jail? I... I'm still working on that part. But one way or another, I'm busting you out. Oh no, you're not, young lady. Not alone. Remember, Jenny, a great detective knows when to accept help. Now, have a look around and tell me what you find down there. That pipe runs directly into the prison cell. It must be connected to something inside. It's a valve. It controls the direction and flow of water through the pipes. Another valve. They provide very precise control of the water flow.
Why does Arthurton need such a complex system of pipes and valves? is identical to the last. It's very high-tech for Arthurton. I think it pumps water or sewage through all these pipes. Why are there so many? Our town's not that big. There's nothing else down here, except for the pungent soup of Arthurton's collective bowel movement. I should go back and talk to Mom. Okay, I'm back! What did you find? There are pipes everywhere. Connected by lots of valves. Some kind of sewage pumping machine. And a whole bunch of dead rats. What can you see up there? Everything Jenny knew about being a great detective she'd learned from her mother. Even with so much at stake, Jenny couldn't help but feel a rush of excitement. She was finally working alongside her mum on a real case. Toilet. Poorly installed. Possibly never cleaned. There's a large crack in the floor around the base. Cell door. Reinforced steel frame and bars. Wide enough to fit a hand through, but lock is unreachable. Drain cover. Securely welded in place. Would require a small explosion to displace. Dead rat in the process of decomposition. Cause of death? Poison. CJ, looking very anxious. Possibly has lice. Metal bed with pillow and sheets. Extremely uncomfortable. That's everything of interest here. I've got this picture of two monkeys holding hands. I think they're planning something. That's it! I got it! I knew it was important! I know exactly how to get you out of there. Attempting a breakout without the explosives seemed futile. But Jenny had spotted something else useful. How can I break Mom out of jail? That's not right. Back to the drawing board. pipe leading to the jail is a weak point, and the floor around the toilet is cracked and damaged. By redirecting the flow of water and turning on the pumping machine, we can create an explosion of our own. We need to create enough pressure to blow up that toilet. Yes, of course. Great thinking, Jenny. I'll turn on the machine and use the valves to redirect the water. I'll use the pillow to block the toilet and sustain the pressure. And I'll distract the guard! Okay, we're on the case! Go, team!
coming up. It's less explosive -y than I imagined. What happened? Nothing happened. We need more pressure. More pressure? How can I get more pressure into the pipe? What the hell was that? Oh. CJ? Sorry, man. My bad. Had a spicy burrito last night. You might want to give it a minute. Quit making a ruckus. This is your last warning. He fell for it. <laughs> well done, CJ. So much to tell you. Don't say another word. I see you've been busy. Dad wasn't working for the university. His accident was a cover up for something much bigger. Jenny? And it's not the first time it's happened. There's an organization running secret operations all over town. Jenny! And Dean Strausbury was working for them, too. Stop! You already know, don't you? So you knew he was still alive, and you didn't tell me? What? Who's still alive? Dad survived the explosion! He's alive! Dad is alive! But they're keeping him prisoner in a room hidden under the graveyard. No, Jenny. He sent us a message. He's trapped. We have to rescue him. Together. I'm sorry, Jenny. But you're wrong. But... 
It's true. I used the Dean's ring to make a key for the door. I can explain everything on the way. What? Why do you have the Dean's ring? Well, I, uh, found it in the library. You stole evidence from a crime scene? Well, yeah, but now's not the time to discuss the ethics of my investigation. Give it to me. Why? Give me the ring. Now. Fine. Take it. Don't you understand? Someone is coming to kill you. Go back the way you came and don't tell anyone that you were here. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, which is precisely why you have to leave. Leave? I'm the reason you're still alive. The whole town thinks you killed the Dean. I'm the only one who believes you didn't. You didn't, right? You shouldn't have come here. Why won't you tell me the truth? What did you talk to the Dean about before he died? And what happened at Widow's Drop? Jane! The man in black just entered the crypt! Is that Susie Glatz? You've got to get out of there, now! Leave, immediately. Find Susie and go home. You put her in terrible danger. A great detective never keeps secrets from her daughter. This is a discussion for another time. I have to go before it's too late. Did you hear me, Jenny? He's coming! Get out of there! We're leaving right now, Susie. Mom, I'm coming with you. No. Promise you won't follow me, Jenny. Drop all this nonsense. Go home and stay out of trouble. Promise me. Okay, I promise. But I don't see how splitting up is going to keep either one of us safe. As long as you're with me, you are at risk. And I will not be responsible for your death just because you want to tag along. Fine. I don't need you. I got this far on my own. I'll find my own way back. But at least take this. You'll need it. No, you keep it. It's pitch black in the tunnels. You'll be lost without it. There's no time to argue. Please, just let me help you.
Kill someone else? I can't do it, can I? Who would it be? I can't bear it. It's too much. First her father, and now her mother. How will the poor girl ever recover? All of this could have been avoided if I just stuck to my original formula. There must be a way to fix this. You're right, Rufus. I need some rest. These long writing sessions are starting to take their toll. Mom, you broke my... But Jenny's mother was gone. More confused than ever, Jenny had no choice but to make her way back through the sewer completely alone. Well... Apart from the man coming to kill her, of course. Not helpful. Jenny! You gotta get out of here! The Shadow Men are dangerous, and my boxing skills aren't what they used to be. You were right all along, CJ. About everything. You saw them? The little green men? Okay, maybe not everything. It's never aliens. Until it is! But all the strange phenomena around town? I've seen it, too. Good! It's all connected, and my mom knows more than she's letting on. Yes! Trust no one! What did she tell you before I arrived? She asked you to do something for her. What was it? I'll never tell. She swore me to secrecy. Excellent. You passed the test. Did I? Mom told me you would never give her up. That's why she gave me the secret code. Widow's Drop. Ah, so she told you as well. Yes, I've just forgotten some of the details. What did she need us to do? Let's see, it was very important, life or death. Find Widow's Drop, that was first. Look for the flowers, use the key. Oh, wear the gloves, very important. It's a lot to fit in before sunrise. And where is Widow's Drop? Good question. I don't remember. Did she at least give you a sense of which direction she was going? Um, well, I'm north, then you're south, and she must have been going, um... It was no good. CJ's memory was jumbled at the best of times. Right now, Jenny needed to evade the man in black and get back to the room where her father was trapped. Stay safe, CJ. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, uh, yes. Goodbye, Jenny. Keep your eyes open. The truth is closer than you think. Now, Mom went that way. But Jenny wouldn't be following her. Damn. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.